Welcome to a special episode of Power Bourbon. So I polled the community not too long ago and I was interested if you guys would be interested in a Christmas special as far as what to buy the bourbon lover in your family. I figure it's a whole bunch of you guys that are like, I really want something bourbon themed for Christmas, but my family doesn't know how to shop for me or I'm scared of what they might buy. Whiskey stones, which nobody wants. So. I'm gonna put this list of five things that you could get the bourbon nerd, the bourbon connoisseur in your family, and they would be incredibly happy with them. Unfortunately, it is just me this episode. Uh, Brian is busy working on his PhD and wrangling two kids. Chuck, I think, is out of country somewhere doing top secret CIA stuff that we're not allowed to talk about. So you're just stuck with your local bourbon hobbit in his uh, hole in the ground. But uh, let's get started. So the first thing I can't recommend enough is if you have somebody that is really into bourbon is know what type of bourbon drinker they are. I'm gonna narrow it down to just two types and then uh, you can just buy for them depending on what type they are. So your first type of bourbon drinker is somebody that really likes their bourbon and cocktails. Maybe they're new to bourbon or they just have a sweet tooth and so they do more cocktail type stuff. If that's the case, and that's the bourbon drinker that you're buying for, then the two things that I would recommend for them is one, uh, buying some bitters. There are tons of different bitters out there and every cocktail calls for something a little bit different and it's a great way to experiment. Uh, we do old fashions with all different types of bitters. Uh, a really good brand is Fee Brothers. So that's what these guys are right here. And these are black walnut bitters, which go great in Manhattan. You can also get some for, like these, which are from Woodford Reserve, which are chocolate bitters. So there are just hundreds of types. You get them a couple bitters, give it to them during the family Christmas party. By the end of the party, they're gonna be using them and making cocktails. So it's a win-win for you. You got them a great gift and you get to enjoy it. So the first thing I would recommend is bitters. If they're also a cocktail type drinker, or maybe they just like their bourbon on ice, instead of getting them whiskey stones, which is a terrible gift, don't do it. Uh, because the stones can like hit your teeth, chip your glassware, it, it's just not worth it. So what I would recommend is specialty ice. So this is from the Louisville area. I'm sure there's somebody in your area, you just have to do a little bit of research. These guys may even, uh, ship uh which if they do i'll put a link below so then you guys can grab them which is kentucky straight ice so you get uh this thing for like i think it's 10 15 bucks usually they run deals where if you buy like a bottle of makers they'll throw this in for free and all it is is clear cubes of ice which make those cocktails look that much cooler but if you drink bourbon with ice in it it's going to be a slow melt uh, there's a whole bunch of science in there about why it does that uh and it just makes their bourbon taste better for them if they're if they like it in ice. The third thing that you could get somebody that is really into bourbon and is a great gift is literature. So there's a lot of good stuff out there. Fred Minnick has written a bunch of great books. This one is Bourbon Curious. If they don't have it, I highly recommend it. And it talks all about the history of bourbon, it lets them know more about it. At the end of Bourbon Curious, it's got a whole bunch of flavor profiles for bourbon they might be interested in, uh, and just a lot of great information about bourbon. Generally speaking, people that enjoy the hobby don't just want to drink the stuff, though that is a great part of the hobby. They also want to learn about the spirit and the history of the spirit because that's where you get some really cool stuff. The other thing you could do as far as literature goes is a magazine subscription, which the magazine I get and I really enjoy is Bourbon Plus. So this comes four times a year. It's got a lot of really cool information in it. They interview uh, Dis master distillers. They talk about cork in one of the magazines that just how big and how important of a piece of uh, the bourbon uh, that is. In this newest magazine, they talk all about uh, preserving the American white oak, which if you know anything about bourbon, oak is slightly important and we need to be able to keep uh, the oak trees around. So that's a great way to get them something that they can learn more about this hobby they've really got a passion for. Now, if the person that you're buying for is more like we are, which is we drink our bourbon neat, there's two ways to go for that. 
Uh, and the first one that I recommend, because you can never have enough of these if you really like bourbon, is glassware. So the quintessential glassware to get your bourbon drinker, uh, if they really like it neat, is a Glencairn, or more importantly, a bunch of Glencairns. I think I've got like 30 Glencairns around the house, and sometimes I don't have enough Glencairns. Because when you really get into this, they're going to be doing blind flights, which is usually four or five uh, Glencairns you need for that. You always want to share it with your friends that come over. Uh, again, kind of a self-serving present, but hey, it works. Uh, and everything like that. So Glencairns are a great one. You can get them on Amazon. It's the Glencairn and everything like that. Uh, definitely can never go wrong with a pack of Glencairns. If you wanna go a little bit fancier, and originally we weren't a believer in this glass until we got a glass and tried it, and it is my new favorite glass to drink bourbon from, which is the Denver and Lily glass. So the Denver and Lily glass is a glass that is hand blown from Denver and Lily out of Australia. It's a group of passionate uh, bourbon drinkers uh, and scientists, engineers, that what they did is they did a whole bunch of studying, a whole bunch of research, and they found the perfect design for a bourbon glass. There's also whiskey glasses, tequila glasses that they sell. Each look a little bit different. But having used this glass, and uh, now it travels everywhere with me, I keep it in its container, which is really nice, it does enhance the flavors of the bourbon. So nose is a big thing and you guys uh, know that if you've ever ate food when you were stuffy and couldn't smell, it changes the taste and the flavor of whatever it is you're eating. And this glass really helps to make those nose notes really stand out and kind of hide away the ethanol, which really enhances the bourbon uh, when you're drinking it. So it's a little more expensive. If I remember right, it's about 40 bucks but it is a absolute great glass. So if you've got a bourbon drinker in your family that really likes to drink things neat, it's a really cool glass to have. It looks awesome and it's like, it's a home run. So I can't recommend that enough. The fifth and final present on the list. You, you just don't want to do any of the previous ones or you are just really set on buying your person a bottle of bourbon. I understand how difficult and overwhelming this one decision can be. So I'm gonna set you on the easiest way to just knock it out of the park with uh, buying them bourbon. So if you really wanna do this, look at their bar, talk to them a little bit, and you will notice that there is one or two brands of bourbon that they have more of than anything else. It's just what happens when you really drink bourbon, you're gonna to gravitate towards a certain flavor profile, a certain brand more than the others. So in my case, it's probably Makers, uh, Four Roses, New Riff. Those are the three brands that I have a whole bunch of. What you need to do is find that brand that they really kind of gravitate towards. Go to your local liquor store. You might have to go to a couple depending uh, if, if they do this or not. But go to your local liquor store uh, and ask them about their single barrel selection. So what these local liquor stores are doing, Total Wine does it, uh, Liquor Barn does it, where I always go is Westport Whiskey and Wine. And it's a small local liquor store uh, and I love to support them and this is the easiest way to do it. Which these stores do these things called single barrels. And what that means is they go to the distillery and they buy a whole barrel, they bottle it, and they're the only people ever to bottle that barrel of bourbon, which is pretty cool. So that means if they have, we'll use this one example, tons of bullet on their bar, they don't have this bottle of bullet because it's a single barrel. If they have a whole bunch of new riff, four roses, whatever, they're not going to have this, which makes it really special and is gonna make you look like that you know everything there is about bourbon because they don't expect to get a single barrel pick. So if you really want to buy the bourbon lover in your family or your boss or whoever that really likes bourbon, buy them a single barrel from the distillery they really enjoy. Guarantee you it'll hit, hit a home run with them, everything like that. So that is our list of five gifts to get the bourbon drinker for Christmas and to shop like a pro. Uh, let us know in the comments below 
what it is that you hope to get for Christmas, or if you have any questions about what you should get somebody uh, for Christmas. We watch the comments and we'd love to help you out the best way we can. Uh, but I hope everybody has a happy holiday and we will see you again uh, on a live stream in January. So once again, see you next time.